Megan Tuey and Jody Cantor at the Glamour Women of the Year Awards. Jason Campanghetti images one of the year's biggest news stories was the rampant UAL harassment in a broad range of industries. The women who told their stories, known as silence breakers, were recently named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. But the story might not have broken at all if not for New York Times reporters Jody Cantor and Megan Tuade, who published the first set of revelations against producer Harvey Weinstein in October. Now the duo will get to explore this issue even more deeply. Penguin Press announced last night that Cantor and Tuay are writing a book about the recent UAL abuse and harassment scandals for the publisher. No title or release date has been set. In this moment of attack on their profession, Jody Cantor and Megan Tuey's investigative reporting on UAL harassment has proven that the discipline, craft and ethics of journalism can truly spark social change. Penguin Press president and editor-in-chief Ann Godoff said in a statement, Their book will contextualize and enlarge this important conversation. Since the initial report, the two journalists have added to their initial Weinstein. This week they were part of a massive Times investigation which revealed the producer's web of enablers, silencers and spies, Cantor and Tui also spawned a movement. Dozens of other entertainment, politics and media titans have been accused of UAL misconduct in the last two months. Ironically one of them was Times politics reporter Glenn Thrush, who was suspended from the paper after four women accused him of UAL misconduct. Thrush and colleague Maggie Haberman are writing a book about the Trump administration for Random House. The publisher has not commented on whether the allegations against Thrush will affect the book deal.